Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Brothers and sisters, welcome back to the second part of the video Now, we're talking about here lust for jinn And a, a question was asked to me um, What do you do or how do you advise the person who is suffering uh, in, in a relationship? So the person is suffering in a relationship But they have lust for jinn And this causes a lot of confusion for raqis number one And the person who is afflicted and sometimes the Raqi will give the wrong advice to the afflicted. And regardless if it's a male or a female. So please understand, regardless if it's a male or a female. That for instance, the husband or the, the wife is abusive, abusive towards, towards the person who's afflicted. They're abusive, they're not nice. They're, they're basically uh, a, a not a nice person. So the, uh, the person who's afflicted feels that they can't come close to that person that they're married to. They are uh, basically, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a gap. There's no love, there's no compassion. Uh, in this situation, um, you know, is to try and reconcile and try to fix the relationship. This is what you would do as normal if you're afflicted or not afflicted. But because of the affliction, it kind of magnifies the problem. And sometimes the, the finger is pointed at the person who's afflicted. But in some cases, the person who's afflicted is not really the problem. It's the problem is the person who's not afflicted. And they are causing the problem because of their character, of the way they, 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 they treat the other person who is afflicted. And the person who is afflicted feels more oppressed from the person, from the person who uh, is oppressing them. So how do you deal with with a situation like this. You do you deal with it like any other situation. You deal with it like any other situation. Uh, you know, you'd have somebody who come in between, maybe try to advise the person who's been oppressive and try to set them straight and not to point the finger at the person who's been afflicted with a lustful jinn and Allah knows best. Um, and inshallah bin there, I will try to make another video concerning the other side of this issue. And so